Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter. Today I'm going to show you how to make an island in Minecraft using World Painter. So to start out with, let's go up here and go to New World. Because there's a few things we may want to set. Uh, I'm going to set the name of this to... Uh, let's call it New Island. And I'm going to set it to... The, to uh, Minecraft 1.18 or later. Uh, the block dimensions are 640 by 640. I'm going to keep this for the demonstration purposes, but you could make it 1024 or you can make it any size you want. Uh, that's just something to be aware of. You can also change the height uh, to 256 or 320. Um, we're going to leave it on 320, which is the default. Uh, hilly we can make it hilly or flat to start with we're going to go hilly and by default it's uh the till height is uh 20 and i'm going to make it i'm going to pop it up to 30 because i like it a little a little more um, hilly and uh we're going to keep it grass as standard now down here uh with the seed this is what it will generate the world it will generate around i'm going to leave it as ocean since we're making an island but you could put land or you could put a particular seed there if you wanted to. So we're going to go create. So we have the starter map. So the first thing that we want to do is um, go over here to raise and lower. And uh, we want to select a brush. Uh, I'm going to select this brush right here. And we're going to go around the edges and lower it until we see water. Now there are a couple ways to do this. Uh, you can actually use uh, this tool right here which is flooding. Uh, I prefer this way right here to get the edges around the edges. And what we're doing by doing this is just making it so that we don't have a uh, straight, obvious edge there. We're going to make it more like an island would be kind of irregular. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up with a square island in the middle of the ocean, basically. Right, that's pretty good to uh, or a pretty good start. So what we may want to do is we may want to uh, bring some additional areas in here. To make it a little more island shaped. And I'm actually going to bring in a uh, area right here. I'm actually going to make a lagoon. I'm also going to leave an island out in the middle of the lagoon. So you can shape this however you want. It's like another lagoon right there, really. Island right here. Now one thing you may want to do, and if you have two screens, you can keep this off screen, but you can put up the 3D version to see, zoom out, so that we can kind of see as we're building it what it looks like. If you click this lock right here, it keeps the 3D version on top. And uh, like I said, if you have two screens, you could put it on the other screen. But let me put it in a place where it's you can see it as I'm working, but it won't get in the way. This is one reason I kept it 640 as opposed to going to 1024 uh, uh, or larger, because this way we can see the whole thing as I'm building it. And this helps because it will let you see how high you're building things up. 
So uh, let's start over here and uh, let's raise it. So we left click to raise, right click to lower. Now you have to let up on the left mouse button for it to appear there. So every now and then you have to let up on it so that the uh, 3D image up updates. You see it's updating there now. So you get an idea of how high things are because you don't want them too high. If you don't use the 3D view, it can be harder you, um, because you don't know exactly how high things are going. So they might be very high and you may not even realize it. But with this preview, it'll let you kind of see that. Now I'm using a brush intensity of 50, which is default. You can go up higher if, if you want to, if you want to do it faster, or you can go down lower. So if the intensity is higher, it's popping these mountains up much higher to start. So that's something to be aware of. If you if you want to do things a little more subtly, you can take the intensity down really low. 50 seems to be a pretty good starting area. You can go back to 50 and kind of fill out those mountains some. Um, So we have some hilly areas. Let's go over here to and use this flatten tool and flatten an area over here just to give us to give us a more level area. Just to have something to compare with. All right. So then let's go back to the raise, lower and raise this a little bit. And so we, now we have an island in there. So now we have our basic shape. So what a good thing to do at this point would be, uh, let's go generate this and go into Minecraft and take a look at it uh, to see what it looks like uh, in Minecraft itself. And it will give us kind of a better idea of where we want to go and what areas we need to work on. So what we want to do always is we want to go and save the world first. Uh, and it saves it as New Island World by default since that's what we named it. Uh, so let's just save that. So we have a copy of this original Word Painter file and we can always go back to it and, and readjust it if we need to. Then we're going to go to export and export as a new Minecraft map. And when we're on here, That's a little bit in the way. Let's go back. When, when we go on to here, I'm going to put it on creative so I can fly around. And so uh, it allows cheats. The difficulty is peaceful. That's what we wanted so that we can get a look at the world. There are a bunch of other things you can set in this tab when you're exporting it, but we won't go into that right now. So let's go to export. So we're in Minecraft now, and you can see there's at the top there's a uh, a world that says New Island, which is what we named our world, and so we're going to go into to that to take a look at it. Uh, so we'll just enter that. All right, here's our world right here. This this island in the middle looks a little bit a little bit high. We might want to lower that. Um, We can see uh, this is this is the, this must be the area over here that we flattened. Here's the edge. So it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty good. 
Uh, we could go uh, farther around it. See over here, this was generated, this little island was generated n near it. Uh, so this isn't part of what we did. This just happens to be an island that generated near it, which is kind of cool uh, that it does that uh, often when you make an island will generate a smaller island or a couple of smaller islands near it sometimes. All right, so let's go back to World Painter and continuing, continue editing. All right, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, lower this island somewhat here. You can see right here it's beginning to lower. I don't think I want it that high. All right, so now that we've got that, um, we can go here. Wherever we put our pointer, if you look down at this bottom uh, right corner, it says location, and then next to that says height. So the height here is like 62, 75. Let's what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to get this pencil right here and uh, we're going to go over to terrain and we're going to pick sand and then what we're going to do is we're going to go here where it says at or below i'm going to set this to let's make it 71 to see what happens so we're going to change things at 71 and below to sand in that way it will only uh, it will only affect the areas that are those heights and that's a good way to um, make a, a beach area All right, that did a pretty good job, and let's do some around here as well. Uh, so now we got our beach area around our uh, where there's sand around our island. Uh, so the next thing is uh, let's uh, let's put some stone in, and uh, for the stone, let's see what level we want to go. That's 81. And let's go a little higher than that. Let's, uh, let's go 85 and above for, for that. So let's pick stone mix right there. And, uh, let's go to, uh, and let's go 83 and above uh, with that particular mix in this brush. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. It's doing 81 and below. So let's undo that. You can just hit Control Z to undo. We want to go here at or above. So go here to 83. Hit Tab, and now if we now if we do it. It's putting in like a stone mix. So it's not just stone. There should be some other blocks in it. And we're going to keep it all at that level. That looks pretty good uh, for that. And do we get anything here? There's nothing on this island that's stone. All right. So you can mess with these levels depending on your island and you can go back in and out and uh, adjust things. Uh, you don't have to paint everything but with the brush, uh, but that, that limits the area. If you go over things, it won't go down below a certain level if you don't want it to. So let's turn that off on that brush. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to layers here. And... Uh, 
Actually, we want to go to biomes. And I'm going to make this entire thing one biome. You can make it different biomes if you want to. But I'm going to make it all a jungle biome. So I'm just going to go over the in entire thing with this with this brush right here. And what that does is it will give it kind of the weather and everything of that biome. And it will also spawn, it should also spawn um, uh, mobs from the particular biome. So let's just set it all to jungle here. And like I said, you can you can mix biomes. You could have like if you wanted part of this to be a swamp, you could do that as well. So we're gonna just do that with the biomes as far as that goes. Then we're gonna to go to layers, and we're going to uh, go to jungle, and that will give us like the the jungle trees. We want to make sure we have that brush on. And uh, with the, the jungle trees, the first thing we want to do is we want to kind of go down here much lower so so to spread them more sparse and we're just gonna go over here actually let's hit control Un undo you have to decide if you want them on the sand so we could put them only on certain things or accept on the sand uh, but let's I'm gonna just be careful how where I go on the sand because I probably do want some uh, jungle things on the sand so or jungle trees on the sand so let's go here this is this is should spread pretty lightly initially so this is kind of because the brush intensity is down to 15 we don't want it too crowded so let's save this and take a look at this now All right, so here's our island now. And you can see by uh, putting the uh, brush intensity uh, lower, it's spread out the trees, so there's room in between the trees. If you put the intensity up to uh, like 100, it will tend to uh, make it so it's almost unpassable. Now, you may want some areas that are totally filled with trees, and you can come back and... Uh, at those areas but I recommend kind of doing a light coverage of the trees that you want on an island or on any map really and then coming back and putting in and deciding what areas you want to be more dense like if you wanted a very dense jungle on top of this mountain you could go back and do that But it looks really good. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, enjoy playing Minecraft, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.